Welcome back, everybody, to the Pure Kayavos uh, video series. Uh, after a uh, few week hiatus, uh, we're back. Uh, I'm currently teaching and living in Detroit, Michigan, teaching at Farber Hebrew Day School in Southfield, uh, fourth and fifth grade, and it's been an interesting experience uh, here. And uh, I'm still connected uh, to you guys at Atzchayim. Uh, we're still going to learn. And uh, God willing, I'll be able to sw swing by uh, every so often as well. Um, but for now, let's continue our learning. Uh, we are actually up to the second chapter, Mishnah Hey. Hu haya Omer. Hillel used to say, Ein bar yirei chet velo am haaretz chasid. So this is a, this is a challenging, uh, challenging uh, part for us. Um, it says, "Ain bar yirechet," that an uncouth person cannot fear sin. Velo amarts chasid, and someone that's um, not grounded in the study of Torah and not grounded in attendance, regular attendance at the synagogue, chasid can never become someone that's uh, on an elevated status in their Jewish observance. Um, it's really, as I said, it's a it's a challenge to us, this part of the Mishnah, and it tells us that we can never be satisfied, that if we really want to become people that, that fear sin, that are on a high spiritual level, that are on the level of chassid, that go above and beyond and sacrifice for God, um, we need to elevate ourselves um, to a level where we can, we can get there. Um, in other words, we have to become more learned, we have to become more uh, dedicated to the mitzvot, and only then can we achieve um, the uh, higher elevated status of uh, fear of sin and a chassid. So this is uh, very interesting for me, being a teacher in a classroom. It says, A person that's easily embarrassed can never learn. Why? Because if you're embarrassed, you're never going to ask uh, the questions that bother you. You'll never glean the information from the teacher that will help you learn. And at the same time, a teacher can never be someone that's a kapdan, that's strict, that's rigid, that's inflexible. Yes, as I've been taught, a teacher needs to be strong and set a firm uh, disciplinary uh, uh, atmosphere in the classroom and at the same time you can't be a cop done you can't be totally inflexible you know just today I helped some students on a quiz you know if it was the SATs they probably would not be able to get the kind of help that I gave them and yet I wanted them to learn the material so I did push them uh, and I, I gave I pushed them a little I gave them a little push I gave them a little nudge I helped them out a little bit uh, with their quiz because you can't be a kapdan if you want to be a teacher. Not everybody that goes into business becomes a sage. This is kind of a, a sarcastic, whimsical remark of the Mishnah of Hillel. You know, not everybody that wants to work long, long hours is also going to become, you know, a great sage, or great chacham, uh, a great uh, spiritual uh, leader. Meaning you can't have it both ways. If you're not going to set aside uh, time to reflect, to study, and you're you're only going to be involved in your business and your work all the time, so okay, you can, but you can't expect to also become a very wise, learned, you know, Jew if you're not putting the time in because you're all, always doing always doing business. Now business is great, you know, you're helping the world, you're making the 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 uh, the world go round and you're supporting your family and that's that the mission is not not railing against that. It's just saying that if you're gonna be Marba Bishora, if you're going to be uh, that heavily invested in your business that, to an extent where you can't, you know, study or do anything else, you won't become a Chacham. Last part of the mission is very famous, 
and uh, it's a big uh, motivational uh, line for us. In a place where there, there are no men, there are no women, there are no people, you should strive to be, to be the man, right? And what it's saying is that sometimes in life you'll encounter situations where no one's taking the bull by the horns. No one's taking that, that leadership position. And you look around and you're like, why not me? Why not me to step up to the plate? You know, if there's something at shul, an endeavor that you want to see done, but no one's doing it, you do it. You strive to become that man in a place where there are no other people. And perhaps... You know, the thing that, that's your calling that you want to see happen, uh, it's meant for you to make it happen. That's why no one's done it yet. And so uh, that's, a, that's a nice way to finish this Mishnah, which tells us that, you know, we want to keep our foot on the pedal if we want to become, you know, uh, God-fearing Jews and we want to become wise people. We need to uh, put in the time and set aside time to study, to learn, um, and if we're going to become teachers, if we're going to become good students, uh, we can't be inflexible and we can't be embarrassed. And the last thing is that we should always strive to be leaders, especially in a, in a place where there's a dearth and a vacuum of leadership. The last thing I want to say is that uh, if anyone has suggestions about things that we can study, either besides for the Pirkei Avot or Instead of the Perkei Avot, uh, let me know. And as always, if you'd like to share something, share a thought, uh, give an explanation for a Mishnah, please let me know. And uh, we'd be happy to have you uh, contribute your, your knowledge base and your talents to this video series. I wish everybody a good night, and hopefully we will uh, continue tomorrow. God willing.